Let's look at creating a document preset in Affinity Publisher in this video. And it would be much appreciated if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, if you would subscribe. It keeps me going, makes me feel good. So let's create a document preset in Affinity Publisher. And by way of example, we're going to create uh, a cover for an ebook, and the following steps that we use will create a cover that is suitable for most ebook publishers. Open Affinity Publisher and select New Document for the welcome window, or go to File, New Document. Do not press Create yet to create the page, otherwise you'll end up with what you don't want. So staying in the New Document window, select My Presets from the option bar at the top just below where it says New Document. And you can see it there, My Presets. Now we go across to Layout. You can see the little triangles there. You can turn them to the right or, or turn them down and they will open the folder that you're working on. So in Layout, set the document units, in this case, to millimeters, although you may be working in inches. But just to follow this example, set the document units to millimeters Set the width to 130 mil and the height to 198 mils. The DPI is set to 300. You can see them there, document units in millimeters. And the orientation you can see there is portrait. And that's what we want. It's an ebook, and ebook covers are always in portrait. The image placement policy, now I've got prefer embedded. If you don't use Embedded, if you use Linked and you move the folder where the images are, your preset and your publisher won't be able to find them. Embedding the images can create a somewhat larger document in the end, but that's alright because it's only one page. Be careful if you put Linked Documents because you will forever have to keep your Linked Documents where your publisher can find them. Set the number of pages to 1 in this case, although you may have 20, you may have 300, who knows. But in this case set the page to 1 and default master should be checked. The name next to the little plus sign in the circle at the top will change to custom from whatever it was when you first opened the document. But do not click on the plus sign yet. The page preset will now be custom and we'll change that later and your document should look like this. If this is your first go at this then follow carefully. Your setup will look like this so far and you can see I've got all of the window panes there expanded on the right with all of the options in there correct. Do I need to read them through? Let's have a quick look. The industry standard print size for a paperback, B format paperback, is there. The preset creation should not be completed until you've done all these steps and then you save it as a preset just before you press create. As I say there, do not press create yet to create the page. So staying in the new document window, set the colour to RGB8 format and the colour profile to the one I've listed there. I won't read it all out. S, R, G, B, etc, etc. As this is an ebook cover you're designing, you don't need to set it to CMYK, which is used by printing houses. If you're going to send your book to print, by all means use CMYK. Check the tabs to set the margins to 8mm on all sides and set the bleed to 3mm on all sides. These are very much industry standards, although you may have to change them to suit your book. But this is going to create a preset, remember, and you can have as many presets as you like. This page is the correct size for the front of your cover only. If you're only making a front cover for an ebook, for example, then that's all you need for the page setup, and your page setup will look like this on the right. And you can see if you carefully scroll down that, you've got layout. Pages, Colour, Margins, and Bleed. Now, 
Click on the little plus in the circle. Do not do this until all the options are set and you've checked them. Now, and the preset will automatically be renamed from custom to unnamed one and it will appear over in the main pane of presets. And as I say, the preset will appear in the My Presets window. Go to that window and right click on the name, unnamed one, and the option to rename it will appear. Enter the name, in this case, B Format eBook Cover, and press OK to create the preset name. This won't create your document, this will create the preset with the name B Format eBook Cover. Your new document setup window will now look like this, minus the presets I have already there, of course. Clicking on the preset name in the panel will change the name in layout to that name. If you made a mistake and you've accidentally got an incorrectly named preset in that folder, simply right click on the preset and delete it. Your settings will stay there and you can fix them and then recreate the preset by clicking the plus sign again. Check over your options in the layout window carefully. When satisfied, click Create in the lower right window. Your ebook preset based document will then look like this. It's an example, by the way, so you can delete it as you like. There's your eset ebook preset, and that's what it will look like. That's really all there is to that. Thank you for watching. Oops, there's one more to go. From the left hand ruler, drag out a vertical guide to 65mm. This marks the centre point of the front cover. You'll need this when placing elements on the page later. Your page will now look like this. And that, of course, is the end. Thank you for watching.